already because we're 15 minutes past time to start. Yeah. Okay, it's going live right now. Give it a second. <laughs> All right, you're live. Hey, Mountain Lions. It's Mr. Simeon and Mrs. Nutter here for your uh, Monday class, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Check it. Face the flag. Kugibare. Salute. Paro. Let's pray. Christ your God, thank you for today. Please help us to train, grow, become stronger, and stay healthy. Your, uh, in your name, amen. Amen. Awesome. So today we're going to be doing power warm-ups, and we got a great class for you. Um, real quick, uh, we need you to grab your helper, uh, so like your adult helper or sibling or caregiver, uh, whoever is going to help you out with the class today. So grab them and have them grab like a small like uh, sofa pillow or something for one of the drills that we're going to do later. Uh, so let's get started with warm-ups. So today we're doing power warm-ups. So in all these warm-ups, we want to have lots of energy, lots of power, and we want to engage all our muscles, okay? So that means fast movements and loud key-ups and like squeezing your muscles hard. So first one we're doing is round kicks, okay? So we're going to get in, uh, Mrs. Nutter is going to get in her fighting stance. She's going to do a roundhouse kick with her back leg so she can have lots of power. Go ahead and we're going to uh, go ahead and follow along. Ready? One. Ah! Two. Ah! Three. Ah! Four. Ah! Five. Ah! Six. Ah! Seven. Ah! Eight. Ah! Nine. Ah! Ten. Ah! Notice how when Mrs. Nutter does a round kick, her bottom foot is twisting. Go ahead and demonstrate one more time. Notice her bottom foot, her toes move. Watch this. Good. So make sure you twist your feet every time on a round kick. Good. Next one we're doing is middle blocks. This one's for your arms. Ready? So you're gonna, we're going to start with blocking to our left side. So Mrs. Nutter is going to do a wrap up for a left, uh, for a left hand middle block. And when she blocks, she's going to hold out her arm and squeeze her muscles. Ready? One. Two. Ah! Make sure you re-wrap up after each one. Ready? Back to wrap up. Three. Ah! Four. Ah! Five. Ah! Six. Ah! Seven. Ah! Eight. Excuse me. <laughs> oh no. Ah! <laughs> Nine. Ah! Ten. Ah! Good. Now we're going to do ten with the other arm. Ready? So that means now your hands are going to be switched. So your other arm's going down and your other hand's coming up to your shoulder since you're blocking with the right hand this time. Ready? One. Chop. Two. Chop. Three. Chop. Four. Chop. Five. Chop. Six. Chop. Seven. Chop. Eight. Chop. Nine. Chop. Ten. Chop. Good. Okay, next one we're doing is back fist. <laughs> I need water after all those kiosks. Oh man, Mrs. Nutter was using so much power and so much energy, she wore her voice out. Okay. Okay. Next one we're doing is back fist. So ready? She, uh, so we're going to get our guard up. You're going to, remember, when you back fist, you're gonna, just going to shoot out your front hand and bring it back real fast. How so, about this time? I back fist, you key up. <laughs> Uh, how about I just do back this? All right. Ready? So get your guard up. Miss another count. Hana. Ay. Two. Ay. Set. Ay. Net. Ay. So set. Ay. Yo set. Ay. Yo go. Ay. Yo do. Ay. I hope. Ay. Yo. Ay. All right. Good. Jump and switch your stance. Ay. You're going to do a back fist with the other hand. Ready? Hana. Ay. Two. Ay. Set. Ay. Net. Ay. So set. Ay. Yo set. Ay. Yo go. Ay. Yo do. Ay. Aho. Ay. Yo. Ay. Okay. Good. Uh, now for our last exercise, we're going to take our feet and we're going to do uh, back stance holds. So take your feet, put them together just like this. To, we're going to start with our right leg. So take your right foot, point it to the side like this. Make an L. Okay. Then we're just going to take our right foot and step back like this. Make sure you put your weight on your back leg. And we're just going to hold out. One, two, three, four. Mrs. Nutter's doing a side view. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice Mrs. Nutter's weight is on her back leg, so if she needed to, she could just pick up her front leg and kick really fast. That's why we do back stances. Now we're going to do the left side, okay? So take your leg, put it, point your left foot to the side, and step back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Mrs. Nutter figured out her left. Okay. <laughs> just in time. Yep. Okay. So uh, these. <laughs> so um, now we're gonna move on to mat chat. Okay. So today's class is on perseverance. Can you say perseverance? Good. I didn't hear him. Say it again. Perseverance. There we go. Okay. So uh, perseverance. Uh, basically, it means not giving up. Uh, when we persevere, we don't give up our endurance, we don't give up our focus or our determination. So let's break that down. So uh, when not giving up our endurance means not quitting when you're tired, okay? So uh, in this class, we're going to do a lot of drills and exercises that are going to make your muscles tired, okay? So when your muscles get tired, we want you to practice good perseverance by keeping going and, uh, and even when you get tired. Uh, we also have perseverance by not losing focus when something gets hard. Uh, so when something gets hard, a lot of times it's easy to get distracted and think about other things. But we want to practice good perseverance by keeping our mind right on target even when things are hard. And lastly, uh, not, we don't want to give up our determination. That means we want to keep on going when things get difficult and uh, we want to keep our willpower strong. Good. Uh, so now we're going to move on to some drills that uh, you can do at home and that are going to help us practice our perseverance. So first drill is called So Ninja. Can you say So Ninja? So Ninja. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, we, uh, so for this drill, you're going to need to grab that pillow that your that your helper uh, should have grabbed, and these are gonna. This drill is gonna help you practice your uh, forward rolls. Okay, so we're gonna step back here. Uh, you wanna, if you want to take that pillow. If you don't have a pillow, that's okay. The pillow is just optional to help you um, have something soft to land on when you roll, because in the school we have a nice mat here, but. We know that in a lot of your homes, you might have hardwood or tile floors or something that's not as forgiving to roll on. So just grab that so that you have something soft to land on. Can I say something, Mr. Simeon? Absolutely. Uh, some of you may be wondering, what does forward rolls have to do with perseverance? Well, the fact is, forward rolls are not easy to do. So uh, oftentimes when something isn't easy, we want to give up. So we're asking you to, to practice your forward rolls a lot because we want you to focus on not giving up. If it's difficult, that's to be expected, all right? What we want you to do is keep on trying. The more you keep on trying, the better you're going to get. So that's what forward rolls has to do with perseverance today. Absolutely. Thanks, Mrs. Nutter. Okay, so, uh, for, so round one for this drill, you're going to, um, well, we're going to do you're going to do four forward rolls, okay? So Mrs. Nutter is going to help us demonstrate the parts of a forward roll. So we're going to start, you're going to go down into take a knee, just like this. So then you're going to, so then you're going to take your hands and point them to the side, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to make a triangle with my thumbs and my forefingers like this. And then I'm gonna, so this part is the top, is the pointy part of the triangle, the top, the top point. I'm gonna point that, I'm gonna put it down here close to my knee, and I'm gonna point that away from me. I'm gonna point it that direction. Good, so make a triangle with your hands and point it down on the other side of your knee and point it away from you, point it off to the side. Good, so. Actually, I'm gonna switch my legs. Awesome. It's better for me. Okay. So, Mrs. Nutter, uh, she's on an, on one knee. She's pointing her hands to the side. Now, you, next, you're going to bend your arms so then you can make a wheel. Notice, Mrs. Nutter has 
uh, the, when we talk about a wheel, we mean there's a round surface from your arm coming across your back. And that's going to be really important for the next step when we go push up on one foot and then roll over our shoulder. Good, just like that. So that's why we want to make a wheel so that we can roll over the wheel when we uh, do our fold roll. One more important part is we want to tuck our chin to our chest, okay? We want to tuck our head so that way we don't bang it on the floor because that could hurt. Right. So round one, we're going to do four forward rolls. So uh, this is Netter? Yep. So you can start over on this end? <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay. Uh, help have your uh, helper uh, help you out. Ready? Go. One. Good. Back up to knee. Two. <laughs> okay. Three. Notice how Mrs. Nutter is pointing her fingers and tucking her head before she rolls. Four. Awesome. Good job. Air high five. Good. The great thing about these forward rolls is if you practice them enough, they actually get a lot easier to do without um, <clears throat> they get easier to do without going down on your knee first. So I actually find forward rolls easier to do just from a standing position because I practice them so much. So now it's easier for me to just do this. So the more you practice forward rolls, the easier they get until you can get to Mrs. Nutter's level and you can do them from standing up and you don't have to start on your knees. But when we were learning them at first, we want to practice starting on our knees so that they're easier. Um, and safer. Yes. Okay, so round two, now we're going to add in a kick. So you're going to do a forward roll and then throw, and then throw in a front kick. Okay? So show us four forward roll front kicks. I'm going to show you two forward roll Shows, front yeah, kicks. Yeah, two or forward roll front kicks. We want you guys to do four. All right. Ready? Go. Forward roll. Nice strong front kick. Good. Notice how she went nice and high. We want to see how high you can kick. And two. Awesome. At home, she was, uh, I want you to practice two more so that you can get stronger. Okay. Uh, round three for final challenge. Now you're going to do forward roll and then we want to do a jump front kick. Okay, so for uh, today we're doing pop up front kicks. So that means that I'm picking up both my feet and kicking with one foot. Okay, just, awesome, just like that. So you're going to take your, you're going to jump up with both knees, kick with one foot. Just like that. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Nutter is going to demonstrate one. We want you guys to do four. Ready? Go! Uh, there we go. Awesome. Now show us three more at home. Wait. Good. Where are they? <laughs> okay. Olivia, are we doing jump front kicks? Pop up front kicks? I think I see you. Kala, I see you too. Okay. Awesome. Once you've done those, now it's time for our next drill. The next drill is going to help build up our perseverance with our legs. So this drill is called Walk of Doom. Walk Say, of Walk of Doom. Doom. Okay, these are going to really work out your horse stance, okay? Mrs. Nutter is going to uh, explain it to us. All right. So for this drill, as Mr. Simeon said, we're working on really building your leg muscles. And horse stances are something that are very challenging for many of us to do because they require us to really have a lot of perseverance. It takes a lot of strength and perseverance and I would say even courage to hold a really good horse stance. Now, sometimes we see people, I say, get in a horse stance and they do this. Now, that's not a horse stance and they go, then they do this. I'm like, that's not a horse stance. Remember, a horse stance, the lower you are, the more grounded you are, the better it is. So when I do a horse stance, I want to go all the way down here like this. All right. 
And that's hard to hold. We know it's hard to hold. That's why this class is on perseverance because we want to challenge you to do something that's really hard for you and to muscle through it until you have success or until you reach the end. All right, there's uh, something to be said for just finishing the exercise. So Mr. Simeon's gonna start over there. And well, not yet, not yet. Keep, stay over here with Mike. He's gonna start over there and he's gonna go down into a nice deep horse stance. And when I say go, He's going to start advancing across the room this way, and he's going to go down into a horse stance with each step. All right, so let's see him do that. Go over there, Mr. Simeon. Okay, here I go. So I'm getting my guard up. Right. I'm going down into my horse stance, pointing my feet forward. All right, no, now he's really low. That's a really good horse stance. All right, Mr. Simeon, go. Ready? Step one. Notice he goes down step. every time. Good. You can practice these down your hallway. Try to keep yourself low the whole time. Awesome. All right. Now, Mr. Simeon's going to do the same exercise, but this time he's going to step over that side, and that's going to work the other half of his body. So you're stepping out with your other leg. All right. All right, Mr. Simeon, horse stance. And go. Stay low, stay low. In this drill, you can challenge your helper or a sibling or a parent and go uh, to see who can have a lower horse stance. Let's see. You go over there. I'll go over here. All right. And we'll, you guys will you guys notice who has a lower horse stance. OK. okay. It's right. on. Ready, Mrs. Nutter? Yes, Ready, sir. set, go. Okay, and back up. Okay. Could you tell who won that? Well, you're lower down to start off with, so it was probably <laughs> you. But let us know, uh, let us know who you think it was. Okay. Um, so that's the walk of doom, the drill that will help you practice endurance in your horse stance. Okay, now it's time to move on to stripe testing. So uh, your stripe test for perseverance is exercises. So if you are a white belt, a white belt with a yellow stripe, or a white belt or a yellow belt with a white stripe, or a yellow belt with a black stripe, my bad, um, then you are going to be doing um, static exercises. So um, white belts are holding for 10 seconds. Uh, yellow white belts are holding for 15 seconds. Yellow black belts are holding for 20 seconds. So remember your number because uh, we're about to start some exercises. Um, so the, yeah. <laughs> so static exercises. So we're starting with push-up position. So we're going to hold this for the, your time. Uh, have your helper or caregiver um, have them count for you to help you out. We're just going to do five seconds to show you proper technique, but we want you to practice and do the correct number for you at home. So Mrs. Nutter is going to go down on the ground, and then when I say go, she's going to go up and hold strong push-up position from her toes, uh, making sure her back is straight. Uh, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, Five, and down. Good, make sure you hold out the strong position the whole time. If you get to like seven seconds and your arms start to feel tired, this test is about perseverance. So we wanna see you holding out the position and pushing yourself, especially when you get tired. Okay, Ms. Nutter, stand up. Yes, sir. Next one we're doing is intermediate squat. So for these, you're gonna take your uh, feet, put them shoulder width apart, and then you're gonna squat down until your legs are until your thighs are level with the floor and hold that. Make sure you keep your back straight this time, the whole time. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, and back up. Good, when you're practicing at home, make sure that you go down until your thighs are level with the floor. If you go down all the way, then you're not exercising. But if you go down, only go down a little bit, that's not making you stronger either. Um, next one is holding intermediate dish. 
So for this one, you're going to lay down on your back, and you're going to put your hands on, on top of your pants. Make sure your palms are pointing up so we don't grab our pants. You're going to lift your head and shoulders off the ground and lift your feet off the ground at the same time. Good. And hold that. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Try to, don't let your feet touch the ground the whole time. Try to keep them always up. Good. Uh, okay, last one for beginners is holding the uh, beginner bridge with one leg out. Okay? So ready? So remember, beginner bridge, hands pointing forward, feet pointing forward. Uh, make sure your knees are right over your feet, just like this. Belt flat like a table, and then you're going to take one leg and put it out. One, two, three, four, five. Once you've gotten to your time, put your foot down and then put your other leg out. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and relax. Okay, and once again, white belts are doing 10 seconds, uh, yellow white belts are doing 15 seconds, and yellow black belts are doing 20 seconds. Okay, now. What if I'm a white belt and I wanna go 15 seconds, is that okay? That's excellent. If you go longer than your time, that shows extra perseverance and extra endurance. We want you to challenge yourself. So the times I just gave you are like your minimum times. But if you can challenge yourself and go more than your required time, then that's even better. Uh, next one we're doing, uh, next, uh, so beginners, that's your stripe test. For Kala, the ha intermediates are doing active exercises. So uh, yellow, so half yellow, half orange belts are doing active exercises for 15 reps. So um, the so first one is beginner push up. So this is better. Uh, I believe this is this is on the toes, right? Is it beginner push up or intermediate push up? Beginner push up. So that's on. Okay. I think we're gonna go on our toes. We're gonna go on our toes today. Okay, so we're gonna start down on the ground and. Make sure you keep your back straight the whole time in this one. Ready? Up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Try to lift your whole body all at once. Uh, next one is intermediate squat. Um, Mrs. Nutter, how is intermediate squat different than the beginner squat? Um, so oftentimes when people start doing squats, uh, when they do a squat, they, they may squat down like this and it's not very, their knees aren't very bent. Or sometimes they, they take their, their rear end and their rear end pokes out like that. And they do a squat like that. But in the intermediate squats, we're really focusing on having a nice straight back and going down deep into a squat. Um, and that's really going to give us the maximum benefit because you all are a little older now. So you can challenge yourself more than you could a year or two ago, right? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, so, uh, okay, now, so we're gonna do uh, five uh, intermediate squats. Ready? Go ahead and count for me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna pick on Mr. Simeon a little bit. I want oh, you to please. turn face the mirror. I want you guys to, uh, <clears throat> I want you guys to keep a uh, close eye on his back. I want you to notice how straight his back stays during these squats. All right, this time we're going to go in, in Korean. Hana! Do! Set! Net! Toss it! All right, very, that was amazing, Mr. Simmons. You did a great job. All right, see I'm how right. straight his back was? See if you can have your back be straighter than his back during this exercise. If you can beat Mr. Simeon, you are like super awesome ninja. All right. Okay, uh, next exercise for intermediates is knee pulls. So for these, you're gonna go down on the ground and you're gonna go up into dish position. So head and feet, so head and feet off the ground. And every time your helper counts, you're gonna pull your knees into your chest. So it looks like this. Ready? One. And then back out. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Notice when the whole time Mrs. Nutter was doing that, she didn't let her feet touch the ground until she was done. So if you can keep going and keep pulling your knees in and not put, let them touch the ground when you extend them, then that shows excellent perseverance. Uh, last one we're doing today is bridge with kicks. So for these, you're going to go into a beginner bridge position and you're going to go up and every time your helper counts, you're going to do a kick out in front of you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And notice when Mrs. Nutter is doing that, even while she's kicking, her, the, her body is staying still. She's not twisting her body way over uh, or breaking her structure, nothing like that. She's keeping her body uh, flat and straight, just like that. Awesome. Go ahead and stand up. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, so we want you to practice your perseverance uh, skill, uh, skill strap test at home, and then once you feel like you've got it, uh, send us a video of you doing it, and if we see that you have done the technique well enough, then we will make a note of it and we will mark that you've earned your stripe. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, now let's move on to uh, some quick forms practice. So today uh, for forms, the skill is perseverance. So uh, to practice perseverance in our forms, we're going to do super low stances. So uh, just a reminder, White belts are doing the first half of Gicho Ilbu. Yellow white, white belts are doing the whole thing of Gicho Ilbu. Um, yellow uh, black belts are doing Gicho Hyung Sambu, and half yellow, half orange belts are doing uh, the first half of Chilsung Iro. Uh, so we're going to go through some of those real quick. Um, and so make sure you can follow along with Mrs. Nutter as she's doing it. So. Uh, Today, we're, for, since we're doing perseverance, we're going to do some super long stances in our forms. So Mrs. Nutter, can you demonstrate a super long front stance? Yes, sir. So she has her feet shoulder width apart, and then when she steps out into front stance, good, she's going extra long until her, yeah. But notice, even though she is stretching herself and challenging herself to go extra long, her back heel is still on the ground. So that's really important that we don't go so far that our heel comes up off the ground. That's really easy to do. We really want to, yeah, we want to challenge you to keep your back heel on the ground when you do this. Okay, so ready? We're going to start with Gicho Hyung Ilbu. So Ms. Nutter, take uh, one mat back. Yes, sir. Ready? Uh, and if you're a white belt or a yellow white belt, follow along with this form. Remember, if you're a white belt, you can stop after the first kia. Ready? Chit. Chumbi. Gicho Hyung Ilbu. Gicho Hyung Ilbu. With super long stances. Super long stances. See Jack. Good, white belts can stop here. Yellow white belts keep going. And chill, relax. Oh, thank notice how, you. Notice how Mr. Nutter had super long stances that whole time. And um, yeah, and also, uh, don't forget yellow white belts. After each key up, you have that 270 degree turn. So remember, when we do that, we take our back foot, put it behind our front foot, untwist. Get into a front stance and do a low block, okay? So those are 
the, so that's how the 270 degree turn broken down. Um, next, if you have a yellow black belt, you're going to do Kichu Hyang Sambu. And remember, Kichu Hyang Sambu has cat stances and horse stances. So if you're doing a super long cat stance, Mrs. Netter, show us what that looks like. <laughs> Good, so I'm going to go bend our back leg, ba bend our back leg more, so that way our front leg can go out farther. And then super long, and then for horse stances, we want to try to go super low on these. So you're going to try to get your, uh, try to get your butt to level with your knees. Okay, ready? Yes, sir. To me. Gicho Hyung Sambu. Gicho Hyung Sambu. See Jack. Good. Try to go lower than Mrs. Nutter. <laughs> Good. And Faro. Back to Shunbi. Shio, relax. Thank you. Good. Awesome. So uh, make sure you practice that at home. Uh, we want you to practice your form uh, like two or three times to help uh, good to help develop good technique. Um, if you, uh, so, last form uh, for half yellow, half orange belts. You're doing the first half of Chilsong Iro. So, the, Mrs. Nutter is going to lead you through through that right now. Chit, <laughs> Jumbi. Chill song hero. Chill song hero. See Jack. No, that's no. Nope. Okay, restart. <laughs> I messed up. Oh no, that happens sometimes when you're practicing forms. You can get confused. So the whenever that happens, just stop, go back, and reset. Make sure you think about the form and what the and what the moves are before you start doing it. First okay. move is a low block. Yep. All right. Okay, ready? Yes, sir. To me. Uh, chill song hero. Chill song hero. See Jack. Make sure you have nice little horse samples. Amparo. Good. When you're practicing, uh, can you? When you're practicing this form, make sure that you have nice low stances to practice our perseverance. Because sometimes we'll be in a class, uh, especially in the intermediate class, where we will have to do a lot of forms all in one day. And so we want to build up our perseverance so that we can um, demonstrate good technique. After after a lot of training, um, so practice your skills at home, and uh, when you feel like you have the skill uh, down, when you feel like, yeah, make sure you practice your forms at home. Good. Uh, next, we're going to move on to some stretches. Ah. Okay, so today we're doing active stretches. So uh, first one, sit down, we're doing ankle rotations. So sit down, make a figure four with your foot, so put one leg across, then take your thumb and forefinger and find the little hole in your ankle. Then pinch that with your thumb and forefinger. Take your other hand, grab your foot, and we're just going to twist forward ten times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now you're going to switch feet. So put your other foot across. Take your thumb and forefinger. 
fun little pin. Take your hand, grab your foot, and we're gonna twist this forward 10 more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay, what's next? Okay, next one's fun. We're doing clock stretches. So for these, you're gonna lay on your side and put one and put one arm uh face the uh, other way. This way. No, or, like like this way. Yes. Okay. okay, and put one arm behind you. Uh or put so you're gonna take the arm that's on the ground and put it behind you oh, down here. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. And you're gonna hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now, since it's uh now is it now like the way the hands of a clock move, you're gonna move your hand up a little bit and hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now one more time, move it up as far as you can, really stretch it out, and one, two, three, four, five. Good, now roll over to your other side. We're gonna do the other hand. So put your other hand behind you and, uh, and move it up. One, two, three, four, five. Now move it up a little more. One, two, three, four, five. Now up one more time, as far as you can stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, remember, when we practice these stretches, we try to go farther and farther each time so that the range of motion, how far we can move our uh, arms and legs, gets, more, uh, gets bigger. Um, okay, the next one we're doing is forward lunges. So, uh, want me to do, do this one? Uh-huh. Okay. So, for forward lunges, you're going to stand up, get your guard up, and you're going to take your front leg and step super far forward and your until your knees almost touching the ground. Okay, this is we're gonna stretch out your legs. So ready? Uh, make sure you switch legs each time so that you get an even stretch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, awesome. Okay, awesome. Uh, so those are our stretches for today, our active stretches. Um, so make sure when you're practicing, try to go down lower and stretch farther every time so that we get uh, better flexibility. Um, okay, and then uh, usually we end our class with a game, but unfortunately uh, we don't have, we can't play a game with you through the camera. So um, we have a challenge for you today. Um, and uh, Mrs. Nutter, what's our challenge, our fun challenge to end class with? I think our fun challenge, since we're doing perseverance, we're going to do a speed kick challenge. Oh yeah. All right. So for this challenge, you need someone with a phone that you can set a timer on for 30 seconds. And th this doesn't, you think 30 seconds, that's easy. It is not easy. Not okay? at all. So what you're going to try and do is see how many kicks you can do, how many front kicks you can do in 30 seconds. And whoever is helping you train, then you can hold a pillow or a pad for them and see um, who can have the most kicks in 30 seconds? Yeah, try to beat your family. We want to see, yeah, and then send us a video of you doing your fast kicks. We really want to see it. Yep, awesome. Um, yeah, let us know how many you, you were able to do. Yeah. Uh, so anything else before we end class? Um, I'd say for me, we really miss you guys. Uh, we are so sad that you can't be here in class with us, but you know, Safety is done, and um, Mr. Samin and I are doing as much as we can to um, stay healthy and stay safe. We want you to be safe and healthy, too. But part of being safe and healthy is not letting our bodies get lazy, and we have to keep building up our strength. We have to keep building up our muscles, building up our perseverance. 
All those things are gonna help you stay well. So even though you can't train here with us, we really want you to train at home and we are looking forward to the day when you can come back in the studio and train with us. All right. Absolutely. So uh, good class today. We hope you practice hard, train hard, had fun. Um, yeah, let's close that class. Shake it. Face the flag. Kugibare. Salute. Baro. Face instructor. Chet. Kune. Kamsanamida. Tongsu. Sayonara. <laughs>